Hey guys, even here, so less than a week out of Mr. Olympia, six days exactly, we got a couple of very interesting physique updates and we're gonna start with this one, I wanna get this one out of the way because I'm not sure if this is exactly recent. This is the video of Hari Chupan that is going around the internet, around the Instagram. People are speculating whether this is recent or not. It hasn't been posted by Hari, it was posted by an Iranian bodybuilding page with like a quarter million followers. In the caption of the post, uh, what is a translation to English, says that Hadi is one week out. It doesn't specifically say that this, for this video, is from one week out, but I believe it could be. Like, why not? I mean, as you can see right here, this looks really impressive. Whether this is right now or from last year. If it is from last year, then, like, Hadi just needs to repeat this. If he repeats this... I mean, if he looks like this on that day, on that stage, it's gonna be really hard to dethrone him. Yeah, to dethrone him because he is the current, the running champ. Now, if you look at this physique update here, I think he looks more conditioned than he looked on the Mr. Olympia stage last year. I mean, yeah, I can see it was filtered. The video has a strong filter on it. So he definitely looks more conditioned than he would look without it. But still, I mean, you can see some details that you weren't able to see on the stage. And I don't believe for a second that Hadi, that Honey Rambert missed the peak. That Hadi looked like this one week out and then he got watery on the stage. No, that didn't happen, no way. The reason why Hadi wasn't in his crispy conditioning on that stage last year was because they tried to keep him as big as possible, to get him only as lean as he needs to get because that was the gameplay last year and he won, I think, based on the size. If he chased conditioning, if he was smaller, like he was the years prior, I don't know if he would win. And I don't think I ever saw Honey Rambert miss a peak. So I'm pretty sure in this photo right here, Honey looks way more detailed than he looked last year. Yes, once again, the video is filtered, so he can look sharper and harder, but the details that are here would not show if you added a filter on his 2022 Mr. Olympia edition, so I believe this is recent. I don't know for a fact until Hadi confirms this, but yeah, I believe so. And he seems really freaking shredded right here and really impressive. And in his previous update at around 8 weeks out, he looked really conditioned. His conditioning was really good. It wasn't like this, but he looked really shredded for 8 weeks out. However, his arms and shoulders seemed a little bit smaller. Here, they do not. They look really big and full again. Something, however, looks a little bit off with his left shoulder. Pay attention to it right here when he hits the pose. Something doesn't look completely right. But damn, look at the midsection details. I mean, who has this? This is just so crazy. The leg size, the leg fullness as well. I mean, the V taper, the X taper in this pose also. Uh, yeah, his stomach looks a little bit off, but uh, it's not gonna look like this on stage, that's for sure. And look at the left shoulder here. I mean, it didn't stop him from winning the Mr. Olympia last year, so I don't think it's gonna uh, really hurt him this year either. Conditioning, once again, crazy. Crazy, man. Look at this stuff. Like, this is mad. This is insane. Like, he is so crispy, so dry, and so big. Yeah, I mean, I have him in fourth in my prediction, but I think I'm gonna have to change that prediction. I mean, I, I have no idea who's gonna place where in that top four. But after seeing this video of Hadi, if this is recent, damn, like, he looks really good. Alright, now let's talk classic physique. And here is your two times classic physique Mr. Olympia champion, Brion Ainsley, who actually decided to go to the 212 this year. But when they announced that classic physique competitors can weigh more, in his case, I believe like 7 pounds more, once he heard that, he immediately announced that he's gonna be competing in Classic Physique again. So this is one of the Classic Physique guys, actually, by the way, Mr. Olympia champion for two times in a row, who is coming much different, much stronger, much better now when he's allowed to be heavier. Because, once again, he announced that he's going to 212 after last year's Mr. Olympia because he had to cut too much weight and, like, yeah, he was always shredded on the stage, he looked awesome last year, but some of, the, some of his body parts would suffer, especially his legs. 
they will just get so flat, like so, so flat that his physique just couldn't be at its 100%. And while Chris Bumstead would have like super blown out, uh, like round and full legs, Brion's legs would be small and flat. And it's not like he has small legs, like he has the thickness. He has pretty big legs. I think it's only the fact that he had to diet down so much and dehydrate so much and like make the weight that would cause him to look that much, that much flatter in the leg department. And now that he has seven more freaking pounds, it's gonna be a complete different story. This is going to be a complete different bodybuilder. And he beat Chris Bumstead two years in a row. Like he was a Mr. Olympia champion for two years. Eventually, Chris surpassed him. But the question is now... Can new and improved and just much better Brion Ainsley beat Chris Bumstead again and take that title back? I mean, we all basically know that Urs Kalecinski couldn't have made that much progress to beat Chris this year. Same thing with Ramon Dino, same thing with Terence Ruffin and all these guys, but this is definitely a wild card. Brion Ainsley with seven more pounds with freedom to just carve up the way he likes it, like without worrying about making the weight, you know, and also he had an off season where he worked to be bigger for 212. I mean, I am expecting a much, much improved version of Brion Ainsley, and in this photo right here, look at the freaking delts. I believe he trained shoulders this day because they're looking so blown out, so vascular, it's crazy, and also, like, his chest is straighted, like, look at the stomach as well, legs are looking big and thick and, like, really detailed, he is peeled, like, he is shredded, he's all covered in details, and he looks fresh, big, and round, as you can see from behind as well, like, he is peeled, he is super dry, detailed, he is hard as a rock, he is lean, he is shredded, so he did not just gain those 7 pounds and, you know, he's coming in like worse condition. No, no, I think he's coming probably in the best conditioning of his life. I don't know if I, if I ever saw this kind of hardness, these details on his physique. Now, as far as winning the Mr. Olympia and beating Chris Bumstead, I know that's a tall order. Let's say he can do that because we all know that Chris is like on a completely different level. It would take a miracle for somebody to beat Chris, but it is absolutely not impossible that Brian now can beat guys like Ramon Dino, Urs Kalecinski and everybody else and place in the top two again. I mean, that would be a humongous success for him, even though he won the Mr. Olympia twice, still like beating all of those guys, coming back. I mean, those guys are, are much younger than him. He's in his 40s. The other guys in the top are like very young, they are like in, in their mid to late 20s, maybe early 30s, and this guy once again is like 45 or something, so if he comes back and he does that and he plays in top 2, top 3, it would be a big success for him, I mean I know that Ramon Dino, Urs Kalecinski, they have like this crazy shape, they have like really crazy genetics for classic physique, they have you know the, the balance, the flow, the shape and everything, but, you know, Brion Ainsley, with a little bit more size and with this crazy crispy conditioning, anything can happen, man, anything can happen. And we got another classic physique story, and surprisingly, it's about Larry Wills as well, who just won the overall in classic physique at this show that he did, and uh, he didn't earn a pro card, but he's gonna try. He's gonna do the Mr. Olympia Amateur, which is like probably the toughest show where you can earn a pro card. So I don't know if he's gonna be able to win a pro card over there. Maybe if he gets a little bit lucky and the competition isn't that tough and maybe his name helps. But if he continues trying, eventually he will find a show where he can turn pro, I'm pretty sure. Because this looks actually really good. As you can see in the caption, he's 230 pounds on stage. And uh, he competed before as a bodybuilder and he was 270, 270 something. And uh, in the off season, he was over 300 pounds. So he cut the weight like really hard. He went down to 230. And from what I know, watching his videos, what he's telling us, he's on TRT. He's not even using <laughs> gear. And this is what happens when he does that. And he trains for bodybuilding. He had a bodybuilding coach. His training style was completely different. He trained for symmetry, for details. Uh, a good analogy would be he wasn't uh, doing training with a sledgehammer, but with a scalpel. 
and you can you can watch his videos on youtube the way he was training he was really focusing on bringing up some body parts like he was doing a lot of reps a lot of high quality reps like he had a good tempo and everything like that everything that he wasn't doing before I mean, that sledgehammer kind of workout, powerlifting type of workout really got him the size that he's got, but now he needs to work on details, and what he did in the past year really worked out, because look at the details, especially in the legs, like, I, I wasn't expecting him to have legs like this, like, even though his last name or his nickname is Wheels, his wheels, his legs were never really his strongest body part, they were always actually his weakest body part, but now as he added some details, as you can see, I think he worked on his adductors, and I think he like really added the, those details, those cuts, those feathers in the, in the quadricep muscle, and the way he's posing also, I mean, he learned how to do a really good vacuum, and he's doing this classic pose, and his biceps are looking really freaky, this looks like a really good classic physique, and with a little bit more fine-tuning, he can win a pro card, I believe so, it's not impossible, so yeah, I think this is an awesome story, I mean, he stopped doing powerlifting and like pushing his body to its absolute limits because of his health, and he downsized, he switched his training style, he focused on uh, doing bodybuilding classic physique, and he won a classic physique overall, and he's going for the pro card now, and I think this is a really awesome, really motivating story, it motivates me to go for my pro card next year, and I hope it will motivate you as well, so thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you enjoyed this bodybuilding content, subscribe to my channel for the best coverage of the Mr. Olympia and everything else related to bodybuilding. Thank you guys once again so much, stay tuned, subscribe, like this video, all the best guys and bye bye.